Hello guys, today I'm on a trip to a very beautiful city. Let's see if you can guess which city it is. Yes, you're right, I'm in the beautiful city of Venice in Italy. And today I've decided to do two things. First, I want to take you all with me on this beautiful trip and show you the beauties of the city of Venice. And second, I want to teach you guys some phrases, some idioms that you can use to talk about trips. Let's get started. The first place I'm headed to is called San Marco Square, which is the main square of the city, I think. Now listen guys, I'm not a tour leader, so what I know is by searching on Google. But anyway, I'm going to see the San Marco Square and San Marco Basilico, which is near it, and I think it's a very beautiful place. Let's see and find out. The first thing which was interesting for me in this city was uh, the public transport. Now, let me show you something that is a bus station but not just ordinary bus that kind of bus which is called the water bus so wherever you want to go you've got to go and stop in the station wait for your water bus to arrive and then you can go around the town and that's just for the main highway or let's say waterway but within the city itself as it has a historical fabric you cannot use your vehicle, your car, there are no streets here. There are just some canals through which you have to go by boats. And today I'm also going to try out one of the most luxurious boats called Gondola, if I'm not mistaken. And I will also shoot some cool videos there. This is the canal I told you about. So basically what you have to do in order to travel within the city is to take a taxi or any other forms of taxi and then go through the canal. Now, let's head this way. And here we are, the San Marco Square. Well, the square is right there. You have to go forward and then turn left, but that is the basilica we're going to take a closer look at it and then there is this long tower which is i think the highest tower in the city so if you climb all the stairs up and go there you can get a magnificent view of the town let's see what we can do here And now, it's time to learn the first idiom of today. Not that, but to hit the road, to hit the road means to leave, to start your journey, to start your trip, to get out of your house, to hit the road. that was San Marco Square and San Marco Basilico, if I'm not mistaken, which is the San Marco Church. Anyway, uh, the next place I want to go today is called Murano and Burano, two different islands near Venice. Venice itself is an island, I think. Well, what is an island? An island is a piece of land surrounded by water, so I think that's pretty much Venice. But this next place we're going, what we have to do is 
to take the public transport, the bus. But this is the water bus, as I told you before. So now I'm going to stand in the station and wait for my transport to arrive. And there it is. Let's get inside. All right, okay, this ticket we have to use. See, 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 Cherta. Okay, she warned me to wear the face mask. Okay, that was the end of the trip with the water bus. And now we have arrived to Murano. It's one of the islands, as I said, near Venice. One of the three islands, one is Murano, the other one is Burano, and the third one is, I don't know. But Murano is famous for its glass production and glass production factories. Let's see what we can do in this beautiful island. I think I'm going to take a walking tour. Guys, it's really, really hot today. When it's really hot, you can also say it's scorching. It's scorching or it's scorching hot. Now, it's scorching or it's scorching hot means it's really, 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 really hot. Now, one thing I want to tell you, the next phrase and idiom of today is to take the sun. Now, does it mean to literally take the sun? No, to take the sun means to sit under the sun and to absorb the sun rays, to get tanned when your body gets darker, to go by the beach, to go and sit near the sea and lie down and just absorb the sunlight to take the sun. You know, many people come to Italy in summer to enjoy this sunny weather, to take as much sun as they can. In fact, my next destination is going to be a place called Rimini, which has a sea and a beach where I can actually take the sun. Here is one of the local shops that I want to go in and show you. They do all kinds of craft, as I said, with glass. So you see we have these lights, it's very beautiful. And most of these are handmade. That's what makes them special. So that was just one of the local stores in Marano. They are really famous for these artworks with glass. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. All right, that was one of the shops. I really liked it. Let's just go out. They have to be very careful. They may fall anytime and break. That was it. I really liked it, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. For today's trip, the only thing I've taken with myself is this little bag and I've put everything inside it. And that, in fact, is the next idiom of the day. Not an idiom, but a phrase. When we say to pack light, what we mean is to not take a very huge suitcase or luggage. What we mean is just to take a very small bag and put everything inside to pack light. Now, wherever I go, I pack light. It doesn't matter if it's a day trip, if it's a trip for a week, for a month, I pack light because I don't want to carry a suitcase with me wherever I go. What about you? Do you pack light?
The next idiom we want to learn together is to get up or to wake up at the crack of dawn. Listen carefully. At the crack of dawn. Now, when you travel, you don't want to sleep for many hours. You don't want to sleep in. You don't want to stay at home until noon and then get out. What you want to do instead is to wake up early. Instead of saying wake up early or get up early, you can say get up at the crack of dawn or wake up at the crack of dawn, which means to wake up early. Now today, I woke up at the crack of dawn. At 5.30, I was awake. Now for the rest of this day trip, I'm going to go to another island called Burano and I think it's going to be very beautiful. I've checked the pictures and there are lots of colorful houses. I'm gonna shoot some cool videos there for you. Let's go and see what they have.